Come, you blessed of my Father, says the Lord. I was sick and you visited me. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brethren, you did it for me. Today is the memorial of St. Elizabeth of Portugal, born in 1271 of the family of Aragon. She married the king of Portugal, had two sons, famed throughout her life for her charitable works, and won the reputation at the end of her life for being a great reconciler of enemies. Holy Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of James Cornelius Ford. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have thought of you, through my faith, through my faith, through my most grievous Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of peace and lover of charity, who adorned St. Elizabeth of Portugal with a marvellous grace for reconciling those in conflict, grant through her intercession that we may become peacemakers and so be called children of God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Amos. It is the Lord who speaks. That day I will re-erect the tottering hut of David, make good the gaps in it, restore its ruins and rebuild it as it was in the days of old, so that they can conquer the remnant of Edom and all the nations that belonged to me. It is the Lord who speaks, and he will carry this out. The days are coming now. It is the Lord who speaks. When harvest will follow directly after ploughing, the treading of grapes soon after sowing, when the mountains will run with new wine and the hills all flow with it, I mean to restore the fortunes of my people Israel. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them, plant vineyards and drink their wine, dig gardens and eat their produce. I will plant them in their own country, never to be rooted up again out of the land I have given them says the Lord, your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the Lord speaks peace to his people. The Lord speaks peace to his people. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. The Lord speaks peace to his people. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. 
The Lord speaks peace to his people. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. The Lord speaks. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your face shine on your servant, and teach me your decrees. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. John's disciples came to Jesus and said, Why is it that we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of fasting or mourning as long as the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak, because the patch pulls away from the cloak and the tear gets worse. Nor do people ever put new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins burst, the wine runs out, and the skins are lost. No, they put new wine into fresh skins, and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of blessed Elizabeth, be confirmed in love of you, and of our neighbour, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, heaven and earth are full of you, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of you. If you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit. Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Elizabeth of Portugal, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen 
Gracious lead to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. <coughs> At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends. The Body of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of blessed Elizabeth, who honoured you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. So this morning we'll have a period of exposition of the Blessed Sacrament when the church is open for prayer between 11 and 1. I want to say a very special thanks to all of those who have volunteered here this morning and in the future to be stewards for the Masses. If we are to maintain the schedule of Masses that we publish, uh, we do need more volunteers. So if you can help um, with the stewarding at any of the Masses on Sundays or weekdays, please go onto the website and sign up for it there. It's a very simple process to sign up for volunteering and I want to thank those of you, as I say, already who've, who've done this and very generously given up your time um, to do this. Also, please consult the parish website for any forthcoming liturgies. Most importantly, really subscribe to the electronic newsletter, which will give you the details each week of what's happening in the parish over these coming weeks. And I wish you a very happy weekend. Well done for being here this morning. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Joseph, Saint Elizabeth of Portugal, Holy Guardian Angel.